UNFPA has lost a leader. Women and girls and all the world's disadvantaged have lost a champion. And I have lost more than a cherished colleague. I have lost a friend, a friend with a big brain and a friend with a big heart. Mm -hmm. I first saw this seven years ago when I asked Babatunde to join a group of experts we formed to review and challenge our Narrowing the Gap study, which showed that focusing efforts on reaching the hardest to reach children rather than the easiest to reach was cost effective. It was my first encounter with the former and formidable Nigerian physician and minister of health. I was impressed by his pointed questions about our methods, our assumptions, and the numbers. I was even more impressed and inspired when after his brain was satisfied, he offered his heart to the cause, saying that he wanted to be a traveling champion for equity-based health approaches across Africa. Soon thereafter, when he became executive director of UNFPA, he brought the same caring concern for the poorest and most disadvantaged women, children, and adolescents everywhere. When a person passes so suddenly, we often ask ourselves what we wish we had said to the one we lost. And then we ask ourselves what we can do to relieve our mutual sorrow. My sadness today is tempered by the fact that I spoke with Babatunde last Friday, as we did so often about some cooperative venture. I wish I'd told him then how much I appreciated him and how much I always enjoyed complaining to him about the way his national attire made my national dress look all the more boring. <laughs> we cannot now say to him those things left unsaid. But there are things that we can do, all of us. We can work harder, ever harder, every day, together, to reach more people with the health and the hope that every person deserves, and especially the poorest and those most in need. So in the months ahead, as our colleagues in UNFPA carry on, please know that UNICEF will be with you in the cause of all the rights of women and girls, and thus the health and rights of us all. <laughs>